Okay, I wanted to talk about one more aspect about brushes, and that's uh, something I mentioned earlier about creating uh, your own preset brushes inside Photoshop and being able to use them whenever you want. So I'm going to jump over to this file I've got open here, and I want to define a brush out of one of these leaves here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and generate a selection of it, and I'm just going to choose this middle one right here, and I'm going to use my lasso selection tool and just draw a very loose selection around this area. Now, I don't need to worry about the white area right in here because what ha what's going to happen inside Photoshop is that when I go to define a brush, it's going to look at the darkest areas of my image and make those the, ver the most opaque parts of my brush. And it's going to leave the white areas completely transparent. So if I go under the edit menu with that area selected and go down here to define brush preset, you'll see that it's gone ahead and looked at that and defined that brush area. We'll click OK. So now that brush is inside my brush menu. So let's jump over to our file that we were working on earlier. And I'm going to go and select my brush tool. And inside the brush engine here, let's go into the brush tip shape and scroll down to see if we can find our leaf brush, which is right there. There it is. I'm going to go and select it. And again, we can go in here and you see the preview of the brush right inside my document. Let's go in here and modify some of these properties. I'm going to take that size jitter all the way up. And we'll make the angle jitter go crazy. We'll take the roundness jitter all the way up to 100. And we'll scatter it out like crazy. You can see it's giving me a very interesting effect already. Let's go ahead and make that brush size a little bit smaller. And let's give it a color. I'm going to go over here into the swatch panel and just grab this red color right here. And just to go ahead and start painting. And you can see it's giving me a very realistic kind of leaf look to it, which is very cool. So let's say I've made all these properties and these changes and set up the brush the way I want it, and I want to save it for future use. Well, if I go in here into the bottom of my uh, brush engine and click here to save this, it's just going to save the brush tip shape, not all the properties that I applied to it. So if you just wanted to save the leaf itself as a brush, that's where you would go ahead and do that. But if you want to save it as a tool preset with all the scattering and um, dynamics applied to it, go into that brush preset menu and choose in the flyout menu here, new tool preset. Then you can give it a name. You can also include the color that you're using as well. So if I wanted to keep this red color on that brush property, you can go ahead and leave that checked on. Click OK. There now the tool resides inside Photoshop. And so anytime I go and make a new brush or do anything with any other brushes, I can always jump back in here and it will always have those same properties applied to it. So another way of not just using what's built inside Photoshop, which are a collection of really great brushes, but you can also go ahead and define your own brushes and apply the properties to them as well.